My name is Tina Barnes Carraher. I'm one of the co-founders of the Daisy Foundation. Patrick was my husband, the inspiration for the Daisy Foundation. We're here to celebrate the nurses who do so much for so many people and expect so little in return. All of us underestimate the role of nurses until we're in their loving hands. We wanted a way to create something that would capture his very special spirit. Daisy is an acronym for diseases attacking the immune system, which is what Pat had. We wanted to say thank Thank you to nurses by celebrating the extraordinary things they do every day. That's why the Daisy Foundation was started. Nurses, they're a very self-efficient profession that says I didn't do anything special. We want to emphasize compassion part of nursing. And over the years, the nurses have made Daisy what it is today. When they realize the impact they've had, well, they hold themselves in a different way. Daisy nurse means something because they've made it mean something. We know Patrick would have loved this. It's just wonderful for them to be able to be thanked and, and to be recognized. Thank you for joining us today. Chamberlain has been a partner with the Daisy Foundation since 2013, but that doesn't quite tell the story. In fact, we are celebrating the 10 year anniversary of this founding educational partnership. And why is that? It's because of our missions. They're so well aligned. We graduate extraordinary nursing students. Daisy recognizes nurses who are extraordinary and who demonstrate what we would call Chamberlain care. In 2013, DAISY recognized the importance of faculty in this process and developed the DAISY Faculty Award. And then in 2016, they implemented what is now called the DAISY Award for Extraordinary Nursing Students. I've had the privilege of knowing and working with Bonnie and Mark Barnes for many years, starting with implementing the DAISY Award at Children's Mercy Kansas City, where I previously worked. And I am now a member of the DAISY Foundation Board which is truly an honor. I now want to introduce Bonnie Barnes, co-founder, CEO, and board president of the Daisy Foundation. Bonnie, along with her husband, Mark, are honorary fellows of the American Academy of Nursing, among other distinctions, including being the first recipients of Chamberlain's Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters degree, which is very well-deserved. Bonnie and her husband, Mark, started Daisy to honor nurses in memory of extraordinary nursing care given to Mark's son prior to his passing in 1999. What started as a simple idea 20 years ago has transformed how nurses are recognized worldwide. And now I'll turn it over to Bonnie. Thank you so much for being with us today. Barnes, one of the co-founders of the Daisy Foundation. My husband Mark and I are so proud of our partnership with Chamberlain University. It became clear to us years ago that the synergy between our missions is incredibly strong and we are here today to honor extraordinary compassionate nurses and you at Chamberlain are indeed creating extraordinary compassionate nurses through your focus on Chamberlain care. So we're very proud of the fact that together we get to honor nursing faculty who are indeed the people who are creating the culture that your students come to understand is vital to patient and family care. Let me tell you why we are so passionate about the work nurses do and where faculty members come into our story. 
It's now 23 years ago that my husband, Mark, and I lost our son, Mark's son, my stepson, Patrick, to complications of the autoimmune disease, ITP. He was 33 years old. He and his wife, Tina, had just given us our first grandchild only six weeks before he woke up one morning with some peculiar symptoms. He was admitted to the hospital with a diagnosis of this disease we'd never heard of. Well, Mark and I had the gift of being able to go to Texas where Pat and his family lived and to be with him for what we thought would just be a couple of days in the hospital and then we could all go back to doing what we were doing before he came down with ITP. Well, that's not what happened. Patrick got very, very sick very quickly in the hospital and I'll spare you the details of the following worst eight weeks of our lives, but suffice it to say, Patrick died at the end of those eight weeks. Now, I know you as faculty have worked in clinical practice and you've been around families like ours. You go through this emotional roller coaster and suddenly it was over. Now, what do we do? Well, we needed to find a way to help keep Patrick's very special spirit alive and fill that gaping hole in our hearts that his death had left with something positive, something that would uplift us again. As we reflected on our eight weeks in the hospital with Patrick, looking for the positive, there was one very clear positive we felt we needed to focus on, and that was Patrick's nurses. We couldn't stop talking about how excellent they were from a clinical perspective, and we realized that we assumed they would be very good at what they did clinically. But what really we didn't expect, and what took our hearts, was the way they delivered their care. They were so compassionate and sensitive, not only to Patrick, who much of the time was on a ventilator and we didn't know what he could experience, but to all of us in our family. When he died, we realized just how filled with gratitude we were for that extraordinary care we had experienced throughout Patrick's hospitalization. So very quickly, we created the DAISY Foundation. It stands for Diseases Attacking the Immune System to keep us rooted in our experience with Patrick's nurses. And we wanted to find a way for patients and family members and coworkers to share their stories of extraordinary compassionate care and their gratitude. So we created the DAISY Award for Extraordinary Nurses. Well, fast forward now 23 years, we never could have imagined that today we would be partnering with over 5,800 healthcare facilities and schools of nursing, not only throughout the United States, but in 37 countries as well. So honoring nurses with the DAISY Award is truly a labor of love and passion for us. But in case you're wondering where the academic piece of this came in, well, some years ago, we had a dean on our board of directors from the Midwest. And we were at a board meeting one day and she looked across the table at Mark and me and reminded us someone had to teach those nurses who took care of Patrick. Well, that was quite an epiphany for us because frankly, we never really thought about it. But what was really special about that conversation was that all of the nurse executives on our board kind of leapt at the opportunity to tell us how important faculty members are in the development of great, great nurses. They talked about that voice in their ears that they'd never forgotten. And even though they were all chief nursing officers, those voices really influenced their nursing practice and their leadership years after they had graduated from nursing school or completed their degrees. So it became evident that we had to find a way to give students and alumni and coworkers a way to share their stories of incredible impact that faculty have on nursing students and on each other every day. So the DAISY faculty program is alive and well, not only at Chamberlain University, but at many hundreds of other schools of nursing throughout the United States. When I read the nomination stories that are written, particularly by students and alumni, they remind me very much of the patient nomination stories that patients write for their nurses. They're filled with the same kind of emotion that faculty member has done something that inspired and influenced a nursing student at whatever level of education that student may be. And I know from our experience as well that the research being done by Chamberlain University and two other universities looking at the impact of faculty recognition, well, this program is clearly having an impact on you as well. So I'm thrilled that together we get to celebrate you as faculty members. 
not only those of you who are selected to receive the DAISY Award, but each of you who is nominated, because the fact that someone took the time to share their gratitude to you, well, that's meaningful recognition in itself. Well, let's get together now and hear all of you who are being honored with the DAISY Faculty Award this time. I am so excited to hear your stories and to share our profound expression of gratitude for what you do every day. So long. Dr. Megan Gerhardstein, Master of Science in Nursing, Family Nurse Practitioner, Specialty Track, Dr. Mary Bishop, Doctor of Science in Nursing. Dr. Susan Sanner, Master of Science in Nursing, Family Nurse Practitioner, Specialty Track. Dr. Rebecca Kremen, Master of Science in Nursing Degree Program, Psychiatric, Mental Health Nurse Practitioner Specialty Track. Dr. Sherry Perez, Master of Science in Nursing, Adult Gerontology Acute Care Nurse Practitioner, Specialty Track. Dr. Diana Meeks, Master of Science in Nursing. Dr. Christine Marcotte, Master of Science in Nursing, Nursing Informatics Specialty Track. Dr. Robert Davis, Master of Science in Nursing, Nurse Executive Specialty Track. Dr. Sharon Wright, Master of Science in Nursing, Nurse Educator Specialty Track. Dr. Elizabeth Files, Master of Science in Nursing, Healthcare Policy Specialty Track. Dr. Tracy Stodner, Accelerated Master of Science in Nursing. Dr. Bonnie Combs, RN, BSN. Dr. Ginny Hall, RN, BSN. Deborah Kruger, RN, BSN. Dr. Lisa Smiley, RN, BSN. Dr. Selena Tully, Doctor of Science in Nursing.
thank you for joining me today for this prestigious event in honor of Chamberlain University faculty who are being recognized with a DAISY Award. The DAISY Foundation's work is central to and perfectly aligned with our mission at Chamberlain, extraordinary faculty preparing extraordinary students. The foundation honors the nursing profession globally across 4,500 healthcare institutions and nursing schools in 29 countries around the world. Their aims are simple and yet so profound to recognize faculty who care for students and support them in the way we want our graduates to care for our own loved ones with deep and meaningful compassion. Congratulations to each of today's recipients on being named a DAISY Nurse Educator. Your university acknowledges you today as the example of all we aspire our faculty to be. We are proud of you and are thankful for the impact you have on Chamberlain University students.